BCA Hub video series brings together the latest video tech tips on wheel hubs, bearings, and seals, featuring the experts you trust. Brought to you by BCA Bearings by NTN. Learn more at bcabearings.com. I'm Brian here with Matt from BCA. Matt, thanks for joining us. Tapered wheel bearings are growing less common in today's modern vehicles, but they are still being used in certain applications. Yeah, that's right. Uh, tapered bearings are mostly used nowadays in uh, heavy-duty applications, truck applications. And why might an OEM decide to use tapered bearings, say, over ball bearings in an application? Well, they have the capacity to carry more weight. So on a tapered bearing assembly, you're going to see that the weight is distributed across the length of the tapered bearing. On a ball bearing, you've got one point of contact. So if you had a basketball on the table, it's just contacting one surface. So you have less contact surface, less load carrying capacity. And are there any potential shortfalls of using a tapered bearing? Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a whole different kind of animal. The servicing of it's different, the inspections of it's different, the installation's different. It's a two-piece design with a, with a bearing and with a race. We suggest that you always service them together. In some cases, uh, they have to be pressed onto an axle shaft assembly. Uh, some have lock rings that hold them in place. You know, so you're going to need a bearing driver and, and, and a whole different set of tools to service those. All right, I'm glad you mentioned service. What, as a technician, what should I know going into a job working on this type of bearing? Well, I think I'd just familiarize yourself with the inspection process. So if the customer is hearing a noise or growling from the rear axle of an assembly, you can take it apart and check for looseness or galling or spalling, any kind of uh, abnormalities in the roller elements and also in the race. So a good visual inspection, a good set of uh, tools, a press, um, bearing packer, and knowing that whenever you replace these, you're going to also need to replace a seal with it. Very good. Matt, thanks so much for joining us. No problem. I'm Brian Sexton. Thanks for watching.